reach out and touch someone Let's make a friend Help make their troubles end Let's make a This week, the Diskem Foundation has added Matla Abana to its family of random acts of kindness beneficiaries, highlighting one-on-one -on -one caring for the community. Matla Abana means a power of the children, and we wanted to do it that way to make it strong and positive because we believe children have rights. We want to give them the power of their rights. I founded Matla Abana in 2002 um, after the rapes of baby Lerato and baby Tsipang, um, we were asked to, to draw up a petition to the government to try and stop the rapes. And I said, well, that's not enough. We need to find out why it's happening and what we can do. And as a result of that, I became involved with the child protection units. And in that area of just reporting, we identified a lot of gray areas. We try and help to minimize the secondary abuse children suffer when they report the crimes. And often they say it's worse than the primary abuse. And that's the abuse that happens after the crime has happened. And they have to go through this whole reporting system. You talk about an initiative like this on the radio and it seems like a good idea and a wonderful idea that children have been abused get a degree of comfort, get a degree of warmth, that the experience of dealing with law enforcement is made more comfortable. This is the sort of facility we put in place um, to create a safe environment when the child reports the crime. It looks like a bedroom. Um, it's got audiovisual recording facilities so the whole interview can actually be recorded as well. And. Um, yeah, it's, it's an environment to protect the child and once again to minimise that secondary abuse. You come and stand in this room where it happens and it's such a powerful, sobering experience and you know that six, eight, nine, ten-year-old girls sit here, they have been raped and it is in this room that they have to begin to start the process of coming to terms with that rape and where also the legal process of bringing their rapist, their abuser to justice starts as well. And it's absolutely fantastic that there are people like Monique Stratum and organizations like Matla Habana that it get involved and, and try and make that journey just a little less bumpy. Monique Stratum is a really marvelous woman after everything that she went through in her own ordeals, she is now giving back and helping people, not in the same situations, but people that have been traumatized through no fault of their own. And we are just helping by giving comfort packs to these unfortunate rape victims that are brought in and something that shows that we do care and to give them a little bit of comfort. We at 567 Cape Talk and our sister station 94.5 KFM put together 100 comfort packs for the child abuse victims, some of the child abuse victims housed by Matla Abana. The donation that Diskim Foundation gave to us um, will go into the comfort packs. Um, these are the packs that the police officers will give to the child when they arrive. It actually establishes a relationship between the child and the police officer. And it, this is now resulting in, in much quicker disclosures. What we have in the pack, we have emergency goods. Um, this is something to eat, to drink. We put a packet of biscuits because often the whole family comes with and often they haven't eaten for a long time. Um, then we put comfort goods in and that would be a little notebook, a pen, a little teddy bear. And we find that that is very often the most important item because that kid just holds onto that. And then the emergency goods are a face cloth, um, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, sanitary towels, because most of the cases they raped. They are helping us a lot. Some of those, our, our victims, come out of the very poor communities. That child has been ripped from, from all um, dignity, um, and, and that little bit helps a lot. A day where I've been involved in a random act of kindness in some way is a day where I really go home feeling that I've made a difference and I think that's what we all at the end of the day want to achieve. One comfort pack will help one child and it, it'll really make a difference in the life of that child. Let's make love.